No, I think um, what was so different about this project is that both of us, or I think myself more so than you, because I, I know you, you do so much new music and you're always experimenting with other things, but I'm, I'm used to doing, you know, Brahms, Beethoven, Mozart, and all these pieces that are already written have been written for hundreds and hundreds of years. Um, whereas this was very much a work in progress. It really was. Yeah. And things got changed as we, we were going along, you know. Things got changed at the recording Which studio. Which I think is the exciting process, really, you know, being involved in a, a new creation. It absolutely is. It is such an exciting process to be a small part of, but at the same time to actually be in a recording studio and the clock is working against you and still to be making changes and to have to adjust and change the notes and change fingerings, it's, it keeps you on your toes and it's, it's an extremely exciting process to be a part of. I think Fantasia has got the most amazing balance of really fiery virtuosic finger works for both the violin and the cellist, um, as well as these glorious beautiful melodies that is very much part of Phantom of the Opera. And everything, I think, is instantly recognizable. So I made a, a recording of Andrew's music um, for the first time about 15 years ago now. And of course that was all the sort of the, the short excerpts. And this is a completely new experience for me because this really is a big concerto. I mean, it's 35 minutes. And um, Jeff Alexander, who's you know done the arrangement in, in collaboration with Andrew, um, he's not... Uh, been scared to write difficult things for us. I mean, we were, we were, I think, both of us really quite surprised because he's gone to town. I mean, the opening is exceptionally hard, isn't it? And it got to a point where every page that he was faxing over to me, he basically chased me around the entire globe the past three or four months. He was faxing me in Washington and in Pittsburgh and in London and just all over the place to send me faxes and later on it just every page came with an apology. Yes. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry to be sending you more stuff. I'm sorry to be changing. They were very and black pages with lots of Exactly. Notes. I think we're both, you know, very busy at the moment and uh, doing our usual globe trotting, you know. Um, and as far as this is concerned, I, I think it's scheduled to be out in, in certainly by the summer, and we hope to do it live. It would be great to do some live concerts of this piece. <laughs>